After the end of World War II, the world was split into two, East and West. This marked the beginning of the era called the Cold War. Now, in the year 1973, the world still lies in the heart of this frigid period. The West and East engage in proxy wars to assert dominance, while spies and agents engage in shadowy dealings. And, with the threat of nuclear war, the world always feels close to doomsday. It's as if the whole world is holding their breath, waiting for someone to make the first wrong move. No. I almost I'm... made another tan joke. Oh, no. <laughs> what did he mean by this, viewer? Coconut <laughs> oil is delicious. Welcome back to Jared's Bazaar Adventure. Good trouble. We're back. <laughs> this is <best> fucking intro. <laughs> hey, guys. Welcome back to Jared's Bazaar Adventure. I'm so Adventure. fucking scared of what I'm going to say next. I am. I feel like I have to, like, parry. <laughs> <laughs> you have to parry? No. Oh my god. I have that same experience ever since people found out I was really ticklish. They keep trying to tickle me, and I feel like I'm on fucking death row every time I walk no, through a crowded part of the building. Yeah. Like, people like, are weird. Place just try and tickle you. Is so, HR I, I, think, like, so, I think that's like genuinely fucked up because like tickling takes the same path to your, um, as pain to your brain. So I told, I made the mistake of oversharing. So I had a story. I so I'm, my payments. I'm extremely, extremely ticklish. Uh, and once in high school, I mentioned that, and I did this thing called like boys' palms, which is like for a spirit week thing. A bunch of guys, we do like a little dance, yada yada. And, we, and I was chill with all the guys, and they thought it'd be funny to tickle me, and they didn't realize how much I'd react. So they all got in a circle around me, and they just kept tickling me and tickling me. And I was like, I stop, I can't breathe, stop. And they just kept going, and I was like screaming, "Cunt, fuck, shit, get, stop!" And they wouldn't stop, and it mortified We've me. We've been demonetized already. <laughs> we have been demonetized already, <laughs> and it mortified me. Um, and ever since then, anytime someone even tries to tickle me, I'll like instantly slap their hand away, like without even thinking about it. So now it's become a game for people like to see if they can catch me off guard. Like they'll try and like put their hand in me. I'll just slap it away if it gets near my stomach. And maybe they're I, into it. I feel like I'm fighting for my fucking life every day now <laughs> at work. It's terrifying. It's like I'm playing survival horror. I'd be filing harassment suits if people were trying to tickle me twenty four seven. It's mainly just like one, well, yeah, it's mainly just like one guy, but he can be anywhere at any time. What, one guy saying, who's really in the me, I would do the thing from Baldur's Gate three where I just like chop their hand off. The so. thing from Baldur's Gate three where this you fuck a bear. Guy. Have you guys that seen that? Awesome. That was awesome. Yeah, was Do you see how much awesome. the search terms for Baldur three went up after that? It was insane. Absolutely, I think that's so. I, I liked it, and, and people sure, on yeah, Twitter really did. liked it, too. I'm sure so, they did, for obvious I, reasons. The only, thing I didn't, yeah. the only thing I didn't like was the, the shot of the squirrel dropping the nut. I felt like that was too much. I, I haven't even think, watched yeah. it. It no. was like I cartoon. Was I, watched, I was watching the whole thing on repeat. I was, you know, I, I loved it. <laughs> Okay, that that's good. concerning. But gaming right now. Anyways, guys, last time on Good Trouble. <laughs> and if you don't mind giving us a recap, we're three minutes in. Uh, Donnell, please give us the recap. I... Okay. You need to return. So, um, last time, we all more or less ended yeah, up... Yeah, in... because Darnell's the one that said questionable stuff today. I'm, I'm in... <laughs> uh, Jack, uh, can I just say I appreciate you today? I feel like you've been, like, my hardest offender. You're like, you're like the aggressive girlfriend <laughs> that's nice. like, he ordered pickles, <laughs> damn it. And I appreciate that energy. <laughs> he just launched an attack on you. What are you talking about? What do you mean? <laughs> Never mind, keep going. <laughs> That was actually an attack on you, Tan, not him. Yeah, see? We stand together. Anyway, last Wait, time... I don't even realize we... this attack on me is not the perfect defense. Okay, should we just restart the no, no, this is what I'm here for. This is good. Is <laughs> this is why they clicked. Uh, is it? Is it? Yeah. Anyway, yes. last time we went into... Fuck, I'm out of breath. We went into the tunnels, um... <laughs> And we were searching for the wound treatment center because K is down there. And K is, for some reason, not marked as human on the big list of people that are down there. Uh, do I sound quiet? By the way, I set the mic down. I was getting tired. You sound fine. No, you sound fine. Okay. fine. So, uh, one way or another, we all ended up down there. My Chelsea by Riverside, so covered in blood. And we encountered um, Slugger, Driver, and Regent. Uh, driver decided to keep going to find the way forward while the other two held us back. Um, we fought for a little bit 
uh, against Slugger and uh, Regent, Regent who believed that Chelsea had actually betrayed them. As Chelsea got in up close, though, she sprayed them with blood, so they became immune to the effects, right as she got sort of knocked away and knocked unconscious. Uh, and then as she was coming to, Rivers used his stand, public enemy, against uh, Vasily, and now we are all perceiving him as, like, our number one fucking hater uh, in our lives. <laughs> And I'll let Tan set the atmosphere in the scene from here, which he should have done from the beginning. What the fuck? Okay. Um, That's my shot at Tan Honey. I've started the fucking civil war <laughs> between the DS. Everyone, hashtag Team Tan or Darnell with the live stream. I was just going to end in a fucking civil war. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> yeah. All, I, thought, I'm, I thought this wasn't good fun. I can never read people. I'm actually crying. Are what, you? I'm sorry, you? no! Are you? <laughs> I'm weeping and shit. He's no, not, he's he's not, not being serious. Okay. Hamilton, you can, that's you can, your can, thumbnail. You can hear it yeah, in the tone of his voice. Hamilton he's still has to done This is thumbnail. just another example of Tan bullying a certain audience. Let's just say. Hold on. <laughs> uh, before we go further into the accusations here, we are in the sewer <laughs> tunnels. Um, all of you up to your knees in shitty water and pissing water. <laughs> Uh, driver, you're not here right now. You, you, if we, this is not in the recap, so I'll recap it. But as we ended, Driver suddenly found a giant head that seems to be the core of whatever wound is controlling the sewers, and it seems to be a perfect replica of Scruffson's head, but m much bigger. Yeah, yeah. And we'll zoom over to that in a second. It's like but, the whale's heart from DMC3. Exactly, I've never played it, but I assume so. Um, <laughs> exactly, I've never played it, but I assume so. <laughs> Quote Tian <Odie. laughs> Um, but yeah, so Chelsea, you've, you're like barely conscious, but you can remember what uh, this man, Vasily Tang, this international criminal, did in your past when he slew your de dearly beloved. And uh, Bats, you also remember that Vasily Tang, this son of a bitch, when he ran you out of your city and framed you as a rat. This motherfucker. So I think Chelsea can feel the pain in her body radiating throughout her. She's been beaten down. Uh, she's taken quite a hit, and frankly, she shouldn't be able to stand, but then she remembers. She remembers what Vasily did to her. She remembers what he took from her. And slowly, she staggers to her feet, swaying back and forth, barely holding herself up. And uh, as she looks up, her eyes momentarily hidden by her bangs, they part for a moment, and you can see a uh, one eye bloodshot filled with hate staring at him like a curse and without even thinking she can't, she doesn't even like it just happens she speaks a single word memento there's a sudden surge of energy throughout the sewer pipes and you can feel the all all of you here can see the water like frothing beneath you like it's boiling like you're suddenly frogs being slowly boiled in pans and something emerges from behind Chelsea. She's sort of staggering on her feet like a zombie. It's doubtful she even sort of really notices what is going on here. But the figure that rises up behind her isn't her stand. It isn't Ludo. Uh, it's not as if her shadow is like peeling itself off the ground behind her. A two-dimensional sort of plane rising up. But with three, a three-dimensional ribcage sticking out of it. And two blank white eyes just sort of shining from deep within that dark sort of recess as it sort of rives behind uh, Chelsea, glaring at you, uh, Vasily. Um, You'll need to do it. Oh. <clears throat> Everyone talks at once. <laughs> I'm not here. Yeah. Okay, all right, can I go now? Yeah, sure, go. Okay, all right. Uh, Bats is also filled with a similar rage, but he catches Chelsea in the corner of his eye approaching Vasily, and he thinks about the terrible shit that Vasily has said about him and how his reputation within the family was completely destroyed single-handedly by this man. And he sees her going in for uh, essentially his prey, and Bats is going oh to uh, take the Clash out uh, and kind of have the Clash charge towards Chelsea and he's running towards her back baseball bat in hand screaming this one's mine okay so rip. <laughs> yeah Fuck. should we roll a turn on <laughs> I think I might be fucked now I'm gonna die alright yeah let's roll a turn order 
So Chelsea. Wait, golf. Chelsea's the one getting attacked? Yeah, I, I'm so confused by that as well. <laughs> um, no, okay. I, I, I had that worked silly. out, so I All... wasn't gonna die, but I guess I'm gonna die because dude, this I am okay with this. Bats' motivation here is that he's not gonna let somebody else take his uh target. If he if then this why not kill Vasily was... first? He's closer to you than I am? Question mark? Be... No, oh, no, 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 no. no. Telepathy, do, telepathy doesn't work here. He's made his decision. How wait, wait, wait. how aren't you closer to him? No, You're I got knocked away. Basically. You're right next to him because you were fighting by his side. Alright, I'll rescind that then. I'm just gonna lunge for Vasily. I'm rewired. Dang it, Chelsea, stop being reasonable. I'm, no, I'm retconning that decision. <laughs> I, I was just about to say time roaches, Tan. God damn it. Time the, time roaches, the time roaches took their effect it's right now. How bad is launching at Vasily? Okay. And all is With your uh, bat ball bat, I assume. With my baseball bat in hand, he's kind of going to hit him over the head, supposedly. As pissed as I would have been if Dune had literally killed me before I even got to do the thing, that would have been kind of so funny. funny. It would have been really funny. <laughs> I would have been very upset. Really really an unrelated pie with a baseball bat. Yeah, I feel like... I, I kind of wish you didn't correct him now. Go for it, then. I mean, do what you want. No, I, I wouldn't do it unless Chelsea was, like in danger of hitting him first. That's the only reason why I did it, because I felt that would be interesting, okay. but... So, Bats, you are swinging at the silly with your Bats ball, Bats. Yes, over um, the head. Crack him in the oh, noggin. Oh, crack him in the noggin, eh? Sounds like it's gonna hurt! <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, that's pretty hype. You can have an advantage. Vasily, <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I know how Vasily will defeat Mr. Slugger. Um, maybe not. Maybe not. Advantage. <laughs> what's your reaction? I'm testing Vasily. the waters there. What yeah, Vasily, how will you react to this knock in the slam? I think Vasily's not at his most rational now. It's almost like he's reverting to a more primal state. Like his head isn't quite human anymore, and he's gonna slam it so hard it'll crack the bat and go on to <laughs> and hit bats. You're headbutting the bat. He's gonna headbutt so hard the bat snaps. Well, will he? Uh, well, we well, I mean, I'm assuming we'll, it's, it's the role contesting thing, right? Well, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're going for the baseball bat slam. I would say that is probably a uh, a uh, strike here from you. Uh, well, hopefully it's a strike, <laughs> baseball, right? Um, from you, bats, which is power and precision. Yes. Um, from you, Vasily, I would say it's an intercept, which is durability and precision. Oh, but using it, he's using like his head this time. Would it, would it not incorporate his body? Son of a bitch. <laughs> Let's have a look. Uh, okay, I'll, you, you can either I'll let like, you can do either intercept, which is durability and precision, or endure, which is body and pluck. I'll do uh, endure body and pluck. Are you going to say both? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, no, I'm not takes. that type of player. I think he gets an advantage for picking both. <laughs> <laughs> Endless advantage. I think is, I get too far. This is the like the thin. This is the thinly veiled like civil war session where we're all staring daggers at each other. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we've got uh, one, two, three, four. Oh, nice. One, two, three, Am I going to be the five. only person in the session that isn't passive aggressive? I'm not trying to be passive aggressive. I just didn't want to die. But I so, <laughs> what, is, is this a metal baseball bat? Just to um, to it, it's a it's a wooden one, but oh, okay. it is uh, yeah. it, what's it? It's it called lacquer. Like it, it it's like um, it's not just pure wood. It's obviously done over with some sort of coating. Tan, are you familiar with how like baseball bat lacquer? Work? I'm asking genuinely. So basically, what it is is like it is made of wood, but they put something over it that makes it harder and sturdier, so it can actually hit like balls going 100 okay. miles per hour without shattering. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, I guess the monkey, it's nothing. It shatters the fucking pieces. Strangely, so it feels like from the strength of that headbutt, it shouldn't have broken quite that much. It feels like there was maybe some fault with it already that has uh, just suddenly popped up. Nice. Um, but the uh, the the handle is all that you have left, and it's so sad, bats. Bats that your... staring <laughs> that at this hand. That was your um, I found the early after all. In complete fucking disbelief here, and he's going to stagger back a little bit with, but he's he's not going to back down at the strength of this fucking freak who just broke his bat and <laughs> his forehead. With that, we go to uh, Chelsea's turn. 
So Chelsea, why don't you give us a vague direction of what you are looking to do here? So I believe you are taking control of Memento. Mm. So I don't think she moves because of the range on it. Assuming that Vasily's within 45 meters. Um, she just stares hatefully as the shadow begins to slither forth, and I will let you take it from there. Okay. Vasily, out of curiosity, do you have any underlying medical conditions? Uh, he's, he's fairly healthy. He okay, might, he may or may not have thin blood, like some slight hemophilia, which he has not gotten checked for. I'll leave it up to you. Is that so? Okay. <laughs> Um, so, Memento is, uh, Memento is, um, Memento, we're playing too much fucking Persona. Uh, Memento, singular, is going to do an attack which you cannot quite comprehend the form of, where it's going to be an overkill roll, which is menacing and power. What is this fucking earthbound shit? Yeah, this guy, I guess, is coming for you. What would he roll against this? Like, how can um, he react? Does it touch him to activate this, or is it just he's like, like... It's exerting a force, it's not actually approaching you. Is it like a health check of his body again? Is he trying um, to give him a heart attack? Um, it could be. It's hard to see. You, you can see that that is doing uh, going to do. Maybe, it's trying to do something. Basically. Maybe I would argue ender or expel, like he's trying to expel the force or just take the brunt of it. Well, it's up to you. You can see it's doing something. Do you want to like try and dodge, try like brace yourself? Withstand, wanna... perhaps. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. What the fuck is the I difference think... between withstand and endure, by the way? Oh, so I don't know. Is, I imagine it sounds like a blocking. Endure is more like it's already got you. Just like try and brace yourself. Gotcha. I think he's gonna, you know, he sees a demon approaching him. He's gonna try and expunge it and spell it from his body, the temple of his body. Okay, roll your endure then. It's gonna roll its uh, overkill. Well, no, I said intercept. Oh well, whatever. Well, roll your thing. <laughs> So one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Vasily, you suddenly realize that during the combat that's already happened, you've taken a rather bad gash on your leg. It's bleeding quite profusely. Huh. Um, but your, your thin blood, it's, 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 well, your alleged thin blood, it seems to be uh, having the ne quite negative effect as you're, as you're gushing blood into the dirty sewer water. Ooh, I'm leaking. Well, I think you're about to get a, an infection, the infection of all time. <laughs> every single disease ever enters his body. All of them. Well, that makes me immune to everything because we're fighting each other like in the I don't think that's how this works. Right, I had to me obtaining for syphilis. What, Guess what? I'm immune to STDs now. Oh no. Wait, who's. Does it go to the next turn now? Uh, yeah, so as for the effect of that, I will say that is a time delayed hit. So that will get Vasily on his next turn, basically. Oh, that's. that's Oh, fuck. Can't you just squeeze it out of you like how Jonathan does with the zombie juice? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's more like that he's got, like, he's, he's bleeding out. Damn. <laughs> no. Vasily's not nearly as ripped as Jonathan. I expels the bleeding outness. <laughs> I just let got rid of all the blood, so now it can't leak anymore. Right, but it is actually Vasily's turn now. So oh, right, you're right. In, you are in a uh, scary situation, to put it bluntly. <laughs> Everyone in this room wants you dead, it seems. Okay, so what's the distance? Like, Bats is closest, but then is it like... Bats is Rivers closer. and Bats is Chelsea. Closest uh, and Chelsea and Rivers are next to each other. Uh, I'm not well, sure Chelsea's advanced a little bit as she's staggering towards you. She's like mid range and Rivers is hanging all the way back. Ah, I gotcha. Okay. Okay, so Rivers is at a distance, eh? Yeah, he's like leaning against the wall so his arms folded as he just observes. Hmm. Hmm. I think that Vasily, you know, he occasionally has a very exotic diet. Okay. Yeah, he is a man of worldly taste. A man of worldly tastes. And think he, I think he might have eaten something very exotic and potentially illegal earlier this week. Wait, what? And I, think, <laughs> and I think it's time to use, you know, a 
learning burn for an adaptation. <gasps> oh. It's happening! It's happening! He's finally doing it! I think... He's gonna, Brazil's gonna spit out some blood, you know, do that thing where he rubs it off his mouth with the back of his hand, and then rasp fade into you. Hybrid Fury. <gasps> As his legs turn, his, his legs elongate and grow suddenly inhumanly muscular, and he leaps like a kangaroo right at uh, Mr. Rivers. Wait, right. what's the new power? What are you burning learning on? He, he ate a kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> or I mean, here, let me let me link you the thing on how it works, in case. Yeah, I, mean, I have patience, like, uh, I'm, like... I'm not sure if you're doing, like, an adaptation or this is, like, a permanent new ability and what that no, this is. This is this, no, this is an adaptation. Oh. Uh, so it's a stun power. Nice. So it's only temp, so it only lasts till this session. Yes, yes. So, you, how foolish. None of you realize that he did in Kangri really this week, or else you could have foreseen this when he were coming. Um... <laughs> And Vasily leaps past you, Chelsea, and leaps past you, Bats, and, and heads towards Mr. Rivers. Uh, I assume you're attacking him. Is, is this right? Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, sorry, I choked on my water because I was laughing. Okay, and how, how exactly are you attacking him? So, Vasily was pretty close to, like, uh, the edge. Like, his back basically to the wall, right? Because he got thrown at Mr. Rivers earlier. Yeah. Right, so he's basically. Uh, using the wall as like a platform and then like basically he's launching himself like a rocket at Mr. Rivers. He, he's like the cannonball. Okay. Uh, let's see then. <laughs> so you're launching yourself towards him then. I would say there may be a little bit of maneuver in there. There's a bit of possibility for uh, a break. Or, well, maybe not break, but neutralize, maybe, or overkill? Hmm, let's see, where is overkill on this? It is... Overkill is menacing and power. Right, right. Uh, I think that I think it's a case of him uh, maneuvering. Okay, which is body and speed there. Okay, let me just... Okay. Okay, and in response, he is going to aura aura at the incoming you uh, with his stand. So he's going to roll his power and his speed. Will the legs beat the fist? <laughs> That's a question that has plagued mankind since its genesis. One, two, three, versus one, two, three. Uh, you, you do it. So, he aura auras, but your kangaroo legs are too fast. Fuck this guy you. made the rookie mistake and didn't keep track of your diet. And you enter his range, and... Well, is it a punch or a kick that I feel like I already know the answer? Yes, yes. You know, I believe that within the JoJo world, uh, physics means this is possible. But he's gonna, you know, alter his position mid-air to launch a devastating kick at Mr. Rivers' cranium. With his kangaroo leg, for it. you slam your leg into his head with such force that his brain must have bounced around in there. <laughs> and his mouth foams. He he sways on his massive feet and his massive body. His eyes roll from the top of his skull, and he collapses unconscious on the ground. Nice. That's my boy. That's him. The guy. And a second later, you realize that is your boy. <gasps> and, and those memories like fade as if they never exist in your head. You can remember them, of course, but you remember that that never fucking happened. That's just information. I think uh, the second Chelsea realizes that Vasily is not the one who actually did that, because uh, she's at minus one hits right now from Dark Determination, I think as soon as that like hate leaks out of her, she just falls back unconscious down on the ground. Bats is going to stare at the wooden uh, shards of the uh, wooden bat that was in his hands he's kind of gonna look at it and realize that Vasily is not the man who called him a rat and said all those things and he's going to look down disappointed at this bat and then he's going to focus his attention uh 
on Mr. Rivers. One of the shards of the bat is like floating in the sewer water and it's like written in Sharpie. It's like, happy birthday from Capo Giorno like, whatever like, the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday, big guy. No, they took away that bat when I left. <laughs> no! <laughs> he was like, oh, take this bat. This, this one I used, I you really are the best. always have luck. This one says happy birthday from Neil. <laughs> the bat of keel in steel. <laughs> oh man. It, was it an heirloom bat or was it just a bat? What's that? No, no, no. It was just a bat. Just it was actually bat. signed by Babe Ruth. <laughs> yeah. it bat. It's a collector's item. Bats has been through many bats. They don't usually hold up after cracking somebody in the head too many times. Damn. I would be. It would be fucking funny if he brought like an antique bat to a mission. <laughs> like, look at one piece, the spirit of the bat's like, I'm glad I could come with you so for so long on this journey. <laughs> that was fucking excellently done, though, Stigma. Good use of adapter. I can't believe like the oh, meme about you, him just beating everyone up like a giga chat actually happens. <laughs> look, okay, I had a different plan in case uh, Slug was gonna go with like his balls. I was. I had this whole like idea for like a spore is gonna look like you know the movie akira yeah i know the movie yeah. akira yeah yeah yeah, yeah it'd be this yeah it'd be this like the scene where tetsu like has all his flesh grow yeah. out it would it, it been like flares versus heat seeking missiles mm -hmm. for the balls but then uh now he used his bat nice which, which, which worked out of course i will say i feel bad stopping or uh, arguing with you, Dune, about not attacking me, but I would have been very sad if I died there. Places. Well, I, I just, I'm <laughs> glad you pointed it out because it didn't make any sense, and I, I missed where the positioning was. Oh, uh, yeah, but still. Uh, don't don't ever let me stop you from doing it. Don't ever let me no butt you again. I should be yes and. Yeah, no you should have killed Chelsea. <laughs> no, no, no hesitation. If I, fuck, if I fuck up in a situation where the time roaches but have to interfere, please do tell me. I do want to pain. Like yeah, that's fair, but I, I, sh I as a, like a fellow player, I should have yes and you there instead of no butted you. And for that, I am sorry. Nah, you're good. Don't worry about it. D Dean, you know I love you, right? With all my heart. Are you about wow. to kill Dune or something? What's happening? Love, love is a strong word, Darno. <laughs> love is a very strong we're, word. We're in the DSCP civil war Red right now. There is no love. What if we ended the war with a DSCP truce? Could it we'll talk about that at the end of the episode. We gotta <laughs> no. get through about two more I hours. Like it, I would like to make it perfectly clear to everyone in the audience. I'm not part of the civil war. I just started it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm the uh, neutral party in Civil War, waiting to play on whichever side looks like it's losing. The majority of the Stigma land. Stigma land. <laughs> it's a, it's mostly between Darnell and Tan, I think. Yeah. Hold on, where, where am I coming into this? I'm not in a Civil There's War. There's no Civil War. I have no hard feelings. I'm I sorry. I have no dude. enemies. I have no enemies. But yes, let's continue. So what happens now? Is Rivers well, unconscious? Yeah. Chelsea, as Chelsea is sort of bobbing up and down in the water, face down, because that's funnier. Um, <laughs> you do see that strange shadow, that, 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 that being sort of looked down at her unconscious body, like narrow those white eyes almost resentfully before retreating back and turning back into her normal shadow. I think and... Fazili, you know, he's very ragged. He's, he's, he's exhausted right now. He's panting. And once he's certain... Uh, River is actually, you know, down for the count and not like bluffing. She's gonna go to Chelsea, see her face down, and like, to, like try and, you know, obviously after like setting her face up, like, like gently slap her, but going, hey, wake up, wake up. Do I wake up, Tan? Back. Uh, yeah, sure, you can wake up. Am I, am I at like a one hit situation? What is it like? Yeah. Okay. Oh, fuck. The bat is gonna come. Bass is going to come over to uh, where he's holding her. Vasily, uh, look, I don't mean to, you know, I know we're in a tight spot, but what the fuck was that? It, it's the a kangaroo. You, you all tried to kill me? No, I understand that part, but I mean, you know, the legs and everything. Uh, if I'm understanding how your stand works correctly, you're not part kangaroo, are you? Uh, I, I don't believe so. Well, then where did I, that come from? Well, I, no, I, 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 I look right now. I, it, we, it was in a heat of battle. My mind wasn't quite working. Maybe my perception of reality broke for a moment, and I thought I descended from a kangaroo. 
and, uh -huh. and as, as he says that, and he's getting a bit more rational, it seems his legs are starting to slowly become no. human again. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's my rationale for it being temporary. Well, whatever you did, big guy. He's like, he's coming back, no. <laughs> whatever you How's did. your leg? Like, with the wound and everything. Well, yes, but is it, is it still bleeding out? For it looks like, or? Because, uh, kangaroo is because of their natural healing abilities. It seems that when you turned into a kangaroo, that healed it. Oh, yes. The power of the marsupial. Strong little critters, aren't they? Chelsea, this what are we going to do with This is a weird them? bit. What do you mean, what are you going to do with me, you idiots? I sprayed you with the blood, didn't I? You still have to talk about whatever the hell you're doing. But what 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 was that just now? Your your shadow, that wasn't your stand. Was do I, it? Do I remember that, Tan? Or is that gone? You maybe have a vague reminiscence of it. I I don't know what the fuck that was. Ugh, it's all fuzzy. My head feels funny. I just I just know for a moment I, I know now that what he put in my head wasn't real, but when I thought that, I just was filled with such contempt. It something came out of me. I don't even know. Never well, now that like you're that not before. trying to attack me blindly, you want to explain the situation between you and that guy over there? And he gestures to Rivers. Rivers is slightly slapping down the wall unconscious. Rivers, <laughs> he's he's not a bad guy. He just works for a fucking idiot. Anyway, I thought you guys would notice when I sprayed you with the blood. Can't you see? And I point to the door. When you're covered in blood, the effects of whoever's guarding this place don't work on you. I what if, what if, what effects? Uh, remember, Vasily wasn't around for any of like the crazy labyrinth stuff. He had hey, were, easy way. Weren't you? No, he got there for the pipes. Oh, well, if you're not, you know, under the protection, if you don't have blood on you, then you get in this weird, like, twisting labyrinth and you'll get lost for hours and hours and make no progress. Hey, by the way, where's Driver? You switch over to Driver. <laughs> <laughs> you're in a massive chamber occupied mostly by Scrusson's gigantic disembodied head that is looking at you with a doofy smile on its face. Hey, what's going on? Uh, God damn it, not you. Uh, who are you? Oh, I, I, <laughs> I don't rightly know that I know you, son. You to scrub my eyelashes. Something like that. I assume you're the master of this labyrinth. Oh, I, the name's Martyrs, yes, that's uh, me. <laughs> I'm just hanging out here, uh, scrubbing my eyelashes. I've got such uh, soft lips, you know? Not, no chance I could uh, convince you to uh, remove the effects of your stand, right? Oh, I went to streets instructions. I gotta keep people out, I'm afraid. Sorry about that. Uh, it's like having a skeleton, you know? You can't tell the bones to turn into jelly <laughs> if you catch my meaning. Uh, sorry. Guess I'll just have to break those bones, then. Oh, I don't actually have bones. It's a vigorous speech. So oh, is mine. Have... Okay. Okay, we're doing this, then. <laughs> uh, and as he says that... This is the session of all time. <laughs> This has everything any fan could ask for. <laughs> you never wanted you wanted this. I, no, I'm having a good time. I'm being one hundred percent serious. This is amazing. Okay, so as he says that, what do you do, driver? I did this. He he revved his. He if you have the soundboard down, he revved the motorcycle. Oh, it didn't show for my sides. <laughs> I, I have it so quiet. I don't even know if it picked up on recording. That is fucked up. <laughs> it's the only way I can okay. survive the soundboard wars. Okay, well, as you um, rev up your motorbike, he lets loose a tsunami of vomit that you know from experience will not have a happy ending for you if you get touched by it. So it's all like, let me just uh, describe it to you. It's all like a bowl like structure, basically, with his head at the bottom of the bowl, you on sort of the rim of it. So he's like vomiting up towards you right now. Uh, I want to... You said this room is like a bowl, right? Yeah. Uh, I want to, uh, like a fucking Beyblade, um, drive along the walls of this, uh, bowl, uh, to try and evade the, um, 
evade the uh, vomit. Right, okay. So, you're just sort of like dodging for the time being there then. Um, oh, is it my turn or his? Yeah, you start. You start your turn. Okay, you de you described it like it was his attack. Oh no, sorry, I'm um, just generic like battle opener. About the equivalent of Pokemon, this one the screen goes all fuzzy. No, okay. Um, I understand. Uh, so to launch this off, uh, I want to. I guess I will continue to like uh, do my thing of like driving around the bowl. Uh, but, um, I want to, um, I want to, like, jump, um, uh, and, like, leap to the other side, like, leap to the other side of the bowl, and, like, as I'm doing that, um, uh, do that, like, fucking chainsaw thing I did before with Proto Men, where I turn the wheels into, like, blades and try, like, slice at Scruffson's head. Right, like, you... You're like popping off him as you're doing it, basically. Yeah, yeah. Right, okay, well that's maneuverability if I ever heard it. <laughs> yeah. There's body uh, and speed there. Let me pull up Dante's sheet. Yeah, so you've got body and speed. And as you're doing that, he's gonna like lurch his head upwards and try and like snatch you out of the air with like a frog like tongue that lashes out. I say frog like tongue, but he's obviously like massive, so there's a very big tongue. <laughs> Right. So he is going for intercepts on his side, which is precision and durability. And you know what? Because it's cool, you can have an advantage. Alright. So that's a five for me. Yep. And a two for him, so... As he, in, if anything, him angling his face up to try and catch you is his own worst enemy in this case, because you like go across as one of his big eyeballs as you land, shredding it apart, and he sort of goes, Oh, that's not good, I need that for seeing purposes! As you launch off and uh, manage to get onto the other side of the bowl. Nice. I'm trying to spell Martis properly. <laughs> Just imagine like a wheel on someone's eyeball and it's making me extremely uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> so, so as he sort gross. of like he twists his head to follow you, you can see like green white pus like pouring from his ruined eyeball here. Thanks, and he, uh, as it's dripping down his cheek, he literally clicks a bit of it up. <laughs> okay, thank. Okay, <laughs> now you just know what you're doing. Oh, I don't like that. Uh, that's uh, legal. I might have to go into a stage three security. You know. Okay, here I go. And as he says that. Six massive spider legs erupt from the hole of his neck, and the massive head spider that is him begins crawling towards you with speed that belies his size, like he's fucking rushing at you. This is terrifying. And sort of snapping at the other leg. Does Pac-Man exist yet? Would yes. you know Pac-Man? Uh, yeah. Hold on, let me double check it, that. It, it, <laughs> it's not like your favorite think... pop culture icon, Pac-Man. Pac-Man? Pac-Man does not exist yet. Hold on. Oh, it's no. Okay. It's, 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 it's not, it, yeah, it's 1980. Okay. Shh, you're right. Oh, yeah, so you've been recently like doing some doodles on uh, handkerchiefs <laughs> and restaurants <laughs> of a new character you thought of called Pac-Man. It reminds you of Actually, that. Actually, uh, it was Pac-Man this... first. Does this imply Driver invented Pac-Man? Pac-Man? Oh, you can do with that as you wish. <laughs> Pac-Man was a CIA psyop? Man, yeah. to Toru, Iwata Toru Iwatani is a fucking hack, then. Maybe you <laughs> sold it to him for, like, a cheap drink or something. Yeah, maybe. It's like, buy me a drink and I'll give you my dumb video game idea. This will never go anywhere. Control man. Control man. <laughs> Uh, but yes, he's gonna like uh, put Command up. Actually, it's funny he... you mention that, Tan, because it says the lead designer uh, intended to create a game that did not emphasize violence. And I feel like this action <laughs> has emphasized violence. Yeah, so he's rushing towards you, going, stop, 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 stop. Yeah, which is basically um, uh, a bit of overkill here. It's kind of like smashing between his massive teeth. Uh, I want to try and use the will of one to like create a clone of myself and at the same time um i want to camouflage myself to turn myself invisible and escape uh escape from the attack but lure him into attacking the clone instead 
Okay, so I would say that's probably a bamboozle though with advantage. And you know what, let's give uh, Marta the advantage as well for suddenly growing spider device. Isn't <laughs> that pretty cool? Let's go. Let's see, what is bamboozle again? Bamboozle, bamboozle is... Uh, wit and medicine. Yeah. So right. that's a one, two, three from Marta's. Jesus Christ. Fuck yeah, Jack, let's go! One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I'd say you've got it, uh, yeah. So is any part of this an attack here, or are you just dodging? Um... It was not a counter-attack, no, it was just okay. dodging. But I do have something to for my next attack that will follow up from this. So his mouth snaps down as you sort of drive away from him. He snaps down on the hologram he creates, shattering it. He sort of chews for a second, as though expecting someone to be there, frowns when he realizes that he has not got any tasty mortal, and then looks around in confusion for the invisible you. Uh, as he turns around, um, I he sees me, like, um, right behind him. With his remaining eye, um... They were holding it for a second, like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> um... No, but, uh, I, I do, um... With my bike, um... As he turns around, uh... I turn Proto Men back into suit form. And I point my Mega Buster at his remaining eye, and I fire a blast at him in, like, a sneak attack. Like, Okay. Jojo Jotaro, your daughter is your weakness. <laughs> you were two steps too slow. <laughs> so you can have advantage for that uh, surprise attack. That's pretty smart. Um, and in retaliation, it seems that he does not have the, the wisdom needed to dodge, it seems, basically. He just lunges towards you, trying to... You threw you with one of those spider legs and a strike. He's got the power of precision. So he's counterattacking, which means no matter what, yeah, he takes uh, a hit, but if he hit. gets more successes, he'll also hit. Right. He does not get an advantage because it is a foolish move. He's such a fool. What an idiot. Dumb head spider. Um, what is that? Power and speed? Uh, for yours, I believe that would have been power and. That's, that power and speed is aura. You were. Uh, like shooting, so that's a uh... precision. Okay. Yeah, so maybe I mean, it's the same guys. Or precision. Oh, pluck and precision. Okay. Obviously, it, like, it's it it? It's like far, long range or short range. I would say. Um. So let's like, right say uh... you're doing this, or are you like a little bit further back? Uh, let's let's say I'm a little further back. Okay, snipe then. So pluck and precision. We need to go fucking epic or something. <laughs> fucking near automata. This is literally the meme right now of like what's going on in the main plot versus the uh, driver <laughs> subplot. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you manage to hit him again. He's, as he snaps towards you with his, his like fire up bullet, hit his other eye. It sort of spears all the way across his face to blow, and his eye is like it doesn't like quite get blown apart. It sort of gets like torn open and like. Fluids come spilling out of it onto the floor below, and he, and he slips in them and sort of almost falls over. And his eyes just gushing, sort of eye fluids, and um, it's awful. As far as I can tell, he's blinded now, yeah. right? Yeah, so he's not sort of demonstrating so much pain, but that might be because he's more of a wacko creature that does not experience yeah. pain. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh. This is very fitting music. <laughs> just imagine that the image Dune post. <laughs> he's, he's, he's so slipping around, it's almost comical right now. He's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, he's the one, give me a hand. This is going to be a Silent Hill boss fight, but it's like a Mario fight. Yeah. I've got too many legs, I need a hand. Whoa. And uh, as he's doing this, almost like Drunken Master style, he spreads out some of his legs and he sort of falls back onto his neck and just starts spinning with all his legs as he comes towards you, truly like a Beyblade. Oh no, he's using my move against me! So it's the same type of move as my spinning leg crush. I see. <laughs> so... I kind of love it, but it's also giving me like, I'm so confused. <laughs> just I don't know lights. how to feel right now. I feel like it's perfect energy for Jojo, though. Yeah, he's gonna try and cripple you, basically. He's going for your legs with his legs, so he's going for wit and power. Um, 
I want to have proto men. Um, I want to like jump up in the air and with proto men. I want to. Um, remember like how last session bats like jumped up and grabbed a pipe in order to avoid an attack. I want to replicate that very pipe and like hold on in the air <laughs> while he attacks under me. Uh, absolutely, so just, just dodge it that way. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Okay, so um, roll for your, I would say it's probably uh, finesse here, speed and precision. Alright. <laughs> it feels like we're about to embark on fucking Dwarf Fortress with this one. So one, two. Oh, this is... One, yes. This is a lot like a Dwarf Fortress fight now that you yeah, mention it. Yeah. Run from a driver right now. He's just vomiting all over the floor and useful, uselessly trying to attack me. So yeah, as you leap up to one, sort of maneuver your way up to the ceiling, you hang for some pipes, he spins uselessly below you. Presumably he might even think that he's got you because he can no longer see. But he's just sort of spinning wildly right below you. Um, and as he's doing that, I want to, like, flip up, um... To, like spin on the pipe, flip up into the air, uh, and with Proto Men, I want to. Back when like uh, when attacked us, he like fired a bunch of missiles at us, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I want to replicate those missiles and do like a missile barrage on this guy. Oh, nice! But sort of adjusting the angle so it's down low, basically. Going yeah, directly. yeah, yeah. Okay, well, absolutely. I would say that's probably an overkill. So menacing in power here. All right. One day, like forty sessions in, I want Driver to like walk into an armory and just record everything. And because that's cool, you can have one advantage. And because he also is unaware of where you are or what you're doing, I'll give you another advantage. Yeah, uh, kill him. And I'm, I'm not sure what he rolled because he can't even react because he doesn't know what the fuck you're doing. So he's going to roll intelligence to see if he can even detect the attack, <laughs> which is wicked reason. And he does not get an advantage. <laughs> Life is never. Oh my god. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. five. You almost, you almost detected it. What it would have done with that information, I don't know. But <laughs> so you pull him with missiles, and um, bang, bang, there's just holographic explosions fill the room. And as they clear, you can see like the top half of his head is being like cracked open like an egg. Blood and viscera is pouring free from it. Like, even though he's a head, it seems like entrails for some reason are coming out of his fucking broken skull like his chainsaw man. Oh my god. And you can see his pulsating brain inside. Like a, a, a weirdly small brain for his head size, beating like it's a heart. Um, and as I land down in the on the floor after my like fucking Doctor Doom attack. Um, I po I point my mega bl uh, mega buster at the brain. I fire a shot to destroy it, and then I just walk away. He is in not much of a position to do much about it, so uh, you you, uh, you can have that for free. You blow the brain <laughs> the fuck up, <laughs> and um, the wounds the beans disintegrate. And you can, as as you do so, you can feel like every the, the world almost like pulling at itself all around you. Like it's suddenly about to snap, and then it snaps into place, and you are right before that vault door. And from everyone else's perspective, you just suddenly appeared there as the labyrinth disappears, and you can actually just see like the entrance where you took went into the labyrinth before, like down the hall from where you are right now. Hey guys! Well, that was simple. Driver? Hey! You, uh. Is Driver. Covered in like viscera and he's blood. covered in entrails and brain. And oh, does that blood. end the effect on him? No. The effect ended because I killed this guy. Oh, nice. Ugh. Kelsey, are you sure that blood was all necessary in the end? Yeah, that's how I caught up to you guys, or we rather. And I put it on you because I thought you guys would, you know, go into the wound, but then Rivers did what he did and things got weird. I think because Vasily hasn't experienced like this labyrinth once, he's starting to think everyone else might be a bit cuckoo. It, m martyrs won't be a problem anymore. It's good to hear. Thanks, thanks, Trevor. You did a good job. Damn right. Bats is, gonna take, Bats is gonna take one look at the inhuman 
amount of guts that are just smattered along his clothes and he's not he's gonna go uh, I'm not even gonna ask driver better you don't as you're saying this we do have a little sort of cut away here to uh, the break room where Scruffson is drinking some coffee suddenly he clutches his head groans and then sneezes oh, oh it's hay fever season <laughs> better have more coffee thank god he's not the user that would have made me cry <laughs> or it was a remote it. stand. Maybe. <sighs> well, it was like Scruffson's giant head, so presumably there's some sort of connection. So we all yeah. are standing next to this like entrance to the wound center, right? The wound development center, though, yes. I'm going to look back at Rivers and back to the party and be like, guys, I think... I don't think he has to be our enemy. I, I don't think he's a bad guy. Please don't kill him. Um, we can just leave him here, and we'll go check on Kay, alright? Eh, whatever you think is best. In a perfect hey, world, I'd like him to come work with us, but I think he's too loyal. At least we're actually communicating with each other now, yeah. Chelsea. Look, dude, er, be it, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> The tie roaches, like, <laughs> the tie roaches the can Bats, listen. How else you know? I'm sorry I had to lie to you, but we thought that if you knew what I was up to, that, you know, you might give away my plan. I was pretending to work with them so I could get some information, gain their trust, and it worked. But, you know, at, you know, the cost of everything that just happened. Thankfully, Driver, or not Driver, blah, 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 Time Roaches, Regent was able to pull that crazy new ability out of his ass and knock Rivers out. I didn't even yes, know Rivers I... Stan could do that. See, I understand what you're saying, Chelsea. You don't trust me. Uh, did you trust me? Exactly. I had hope. Look, the fact of the matter is, the only person you can trust in this world is yourself. But we, as a team, we've been through enough that I feel like we can at least lean on each other a little bit. I can only hope that you can forgive me, but I understand if you won't. But right now, we've got to find Kay and make sure she's okay and figure out what the hell's going on. I agree with you there. And Bats is going to turn around and approach the wound treatment center. Let's do it. Oh, it's a giant vault door. It's okay. difficult to say how you could get through this door. Oh, it's a vault door? I was going to say, I like the idea that we were all going to do like that. You know that badass walk where you're all on a horizontal line, but then it's like a single file line to get in yeah, the door? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like an RPG party. <laughs> yeah. No. So it's a so it's like a vault with like big like a thing you grip and you right or is it yeah. like lock? Can well, we just, a lock? Can we it's all like just use our standos to spin it and open it? You could certainly try. Yeah, I'll have I'll uh. She's hesitant, but after whatever just came out of her, I think Ludo is a welcome familiarity. She summons him and has him try to grip one of the. What are they called? Styles? Spokes. Spokes. Styles. And tries to turn the vault. And she's like, why don't you guys give me a hand with this? Oh, yes. I, as Regent everyone... Out, uh, fade into you and does so as well. Mumbling about oh, the power inside me all along without realizing uh, it was in his stomach all along. The genetic link to kangaroos. I love that. <laughs> what were you saying, by the way, uh, little bit Jack? Um... Which one of you guys is the stronger uh, strength for your stand again? My power is five. Okay, well, I'll, in that case, I'm going to make a replica of Ludo to help open the door. Okay, so everyone who wants to contribute, please pull your power, and I'll tell you if you can do it. I'll pull Chelsea's power. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I'll pull Fade into use C rank stand strength. I mean, power. It would be like, everyone do a roll and the results will be added together. Oh. Uh, I accidentally went to another server for 0.2 seconds, so I'll have to blur that. Um, <laughs> what is that? Wait, what manga is that from Tan, the first image? I don't know. The exploding guy. I know the last oh, one. That's one of, oh, that's one of uh, It's a different manga by the Chainsaw Guy, but it's like a, a one shot. The Chainsaw Guy. <laughs> Alright. That's his name. So uh, it's one it's success Fujimoto? so far. Yeah. Wait, no, I'm, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so no, that's, that's, that's two for me. 
Dude, will you? That's uh, <laughs> he means the mangaka for Chainsaw Man also did that one shot, I think. Yeah, I know, but he, I'm saying his name is Chainsaw Guy. Yeah, of course. Did you know we could levitate? <laughs> so, Bats, will you contribute your power to this great effort? Of what are we? I was muted for a second. We're opening we're, the door. We're trying with to spin vibe. a giant, like you know, you know, it's like, like you're the, trying to pull out the master sword. <laughs> you know the turny part on a vault where you have to. We're trying to yeah, pull like, like a giant like one of those with our stands. Yeah, right, yeah. I will just, since the Clash is not a very powerful stand, I will just attempt to use it um, as leverage. Like, but pitting him between the uh, the floor and the style and pushing it. Uh, I'll give you a power with advantage for that, because you, you were smart. Very nice, very nice. You're so brave for this. Thank you for your service. Yeah, I'm just talking welcome. about you, Tan, for giving us the oh. advantage for that. You're very brave. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, I am three, thanking four. you as well. Wow, service, there's like oh, I thought no, I misunderstood. I thought Dune had rolled there already for some reason. I was just what reading power? Yeah, power, yeah. Okay. One, two. So with that, it's slow and it's it's exhausting work. We get take so much stando power, but you manage to <laughs> this vault door open slowly but surely until it swings open before you. And there's a smaller normal door behind it. Okay, I open the door. You open the door. And I mentioned last session that when you're outside this vault door, you can hear a strange sort of ringing sound very faintly. As soon as you open these sets of doors, you realize that ringing sound is the muffled sounds of human screams. Oh, that's not good. So it's a dimly lit laboratory, but it stretches on very far, as far as you can see. It's mainly sort of consisting of like these these sort of like glass chambers with like all the windows on fogged up. There's like consoles to monitor them, desks with well, documents on various things, wires running into them. It's hard to tell exactly what they're going what's going on. They stretch as far as the eye can see, and in the center, um, there seems to be another glass cell um, in which you can see a case strapped into a harness. There's no one in here as far as you can see right now though. It's, it's and... just her and none of the other names on the list? Well, the other glass cell seems all fogged up, so if there's other people in there, you can't quite see them, but you oh. can hear people screaming. K is screaming? No, but K is not screaming. Okay. Sorry, my brain farted there. Alright, so everyone's so, in these yeah. like little glass cage things. Yeah. And she's trapped to a harness in a chair, okay. In a, in a, in a big glass cage in the middle. I gotcha. I'm going to rush over and try to smack the glass chamber open with uh, Ludo's shovel. Tries to try and break it. So it's exceedingly reinforced here, so roll for your power again. <laughs> and I want a success of two for this. Okay, let me go ahead and do that. Just power? Better. Yeah. Okay. Well, if you want to do power and strength body... If like you're for like... like a strike or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, what would strike be? Strike is power and precision. Or do you want me to do power and body specifically? Well, I don't know. Just do what you want. <laughs> no, Tan, you're the DM! No, it doesn't power and precision, then. Tan, just tell me what you want. I'm just sorry. Do it. <laughs> just ah, do it! Are you okay? I got four. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. The devil's number. <laughs> Tan, this guy has the devil's own Tan, don't be mad at me, Tan. I'm furious. Tan! So uh, there's one, two, three, four. You smash that thing open, mm -hmm. the, the the glass wall. It doesn't like quite as make, make quite as big of a hole as you expected. So you have to like maneuver it a little bit to widen it. But uh, you manage to break a, a, a hole in the, in this glass wall. And hey, in the harness, so it seems like she's unconscious. But she just sort of calmly opens her eyes and they flick over to you. She's got like a thing over her mouth, so she can't quite talk right now. But she doesn't seem especially surprised to see you. Hey, are you all right? You can't talk. Um, Slugger, can you help me get this offer? Oh, right. Uh, driver, I mean. Uh, <laughs> driver, can you uh, come over and help me get this offer? Okay. Uh, roll body. Um, well, it, it's not so much, it's not very difficult to do, so you don't really need to oh, Okay. Well, as you are climbing into the cell to do it, you hear some footsteps scurrying over from a far off part of the room. And you, uh, th this music is no longer fitting, so it's going to stop that. Do I see that. the gif you posted as well? That's what that's what Slugger's doing when you talk to him. <laughs> Fluoride stare. Yeah. 
Oh, no. um, you hear his footsteps going on. And, and a little sort of portly scientist, balding, uh, with a with a uh, five o'clock shadow, black shirt, white lab coat, sort of comes around the corner, sees what you guys are doing, like in the distance, and screws up. Hey, hey, what are you ass all doing? I told you, security boys, when you come down here. And he suddenly realizes he gets close that you are not the security boys. Oh, crap. And he turns and tries to run for it. Regent, can you take care of him? Uh, sorry, can you recap the last few seconds? I he, Who is saying that again? A, a poor little scientist man came in and was like, ah, you're making a ruckus, uh, security, do something, and then he realized we're not security and he's trying to run. Uh, right, right. What, he, Regent is just going to chase after him with fade into you. I don't think he's uh, got the stamina to want to try anything fancy. Right, okay. So, um, you're just chasing after him. And if he catches him, he's going to turn his legs into fish, uh, into the lower body of a fish. Okay. Um, well, if you want to do it that way, we can, we can do it that way. Um, <laughs> so, if you're going to roll for race here, and I want you to get a, um, a two here as well for your race. Okay, that's so, pluck and speed. speed and pluck. There will be consequences if you don't get it, I'll tell you right now. Oh, there'll be consequences. Oh, oh, I see, I see. Well, in that case, uh, yeah, like uh, if like if you don't catch him, he'll run away, and then in the corner of the screen, it'll say "Portly scientist will remember that." <laughs> you are now on the road for Devil Legend. How far is this guy? Distance wise, um, he's a, he's a little bit of a distance away. Like he saw you came a little bit close and started running. I think Vasily will, uh, you know, revert himself into maybe a more bestial. Uh, feral ape-like state, you know, his arms broadening, and you know him going on all fours and sorry, just you know, gorilla chasing him. This this poor Don't feral man. After him. Gorilla Sanchez. <laughs> will, will will there be advantage from this guy being terrified? Yeah. Uh, yes. He hollers and makes ape whooping noises. Is he doing like the Donkey Kong like? Oh, he's like swinging, pumping his arm, getting ready because <laughs> he's coming. Uh, yes. I'm play? so happy Gorilla Sanchez is finally appearing. Is it going to be re re uh, revealed in like the epilogue for this campaign that it wasn't Harambe that died, but Vasily transformed, who took his place? Oh, intensely cursed. <laughs> <laughs> but that is the true devil end. But uh, please roll your, your uh, race of advantage then, uh, Vasily. All right, all right. And try and get a two, or else you'll all get it. Yeah, you got a two. <laughs> So yeah, when you do catch up to him quite easily, he turns around, face contorted in terror. You mentioned you're going to turn him into a merman, if I recall. Yes, yes. Okay, so I Actually, you grab him. Just, just to be safe, he's going to give him like you know little fish flipper arms too, so you can't you can't like drag. And just his head like... remains so normal. That's yeah, it's horrifying. This is worse All than the, the, the fucking things Martyrs was doing. <laughs> What was Martin's doing in the grand scheme of things? He's making, like, head people. <laughs> Those are his heads. So, yes, you grab him and, like, it, almost like a little mermaid sort of fish person, he shrinks down and he's a little primordial fish with a human head. Hey, what's the big idea? Come on, I'm running here! I'm a fish out of water! <laughs> I'm a fish out of water, come on! It, you, stay here and I like I got much of a choice, wise guy. He's flopping on the floor pathetically. He's gonna turn his mouth into like fish lips. His lungs are fine. You can breathe air, but no, his, no, my his lips are getting annoyed. Fish lips. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A single tear trickles down his cheek as he's robbed of his humanity. Can we like do the opposite of waterboarding him, where we like withhold water until he gives us what we want, and we splash it on him every you so often? You haven't asked him any questions yet. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just thinking of. It He's like, you haven't thought questions. Like, should we torture this guy? Yeah, I love I torture. Thought... But right, I don't so know if you know, but you are gonna get, you know, go back to the group, but with this guy slung over his shoulder, his his conquest of war. Are you taking him home with you? <laughs> Oh god, did we lose stigma in the mines? What? Did you hear me? Just for a no. second, it was like super muffled and far away. I thought your mic broke. I said that's what the tribe decide when uh, J when uh, Jack slash driver asked if he was being taken home. 
I like that it's on the table at least. You mute inverts. <laughs> Oh, okay. Never mind. Yeah, no, I was, I was gonna say like we tried to. That's like we tried to call you out earlier, so we thought you might have just been muted for a sec, but you were muted for like three minutes, so we were concerned. Oh, I thought okay. I that must be why nobody was responding to. Yeah, anything I was trying to. Yeah, was yeah, to yeah. I was like, we were because he was like, bats go get him, but then that didn't happen. So I was like, oh, it must be like at a thing again, like at a drive through or something. But then we were like, is he okay? At a drive through Wow, okay. I thought the passive aggressiveness was over. No, I'm not being passive aggressive! <laughs> he's actually- he's it's not my intention! Darn, Dar Dar you have got to stop letting people bait you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, the session has worn me down into a stick of and, humans. And, anyways, anyways, what I, what I was trying to say uh, there was, um, Bats is probably slightly annoyed that Chelsea went ahead and smashed a glass case because of his background in, you know, crime and bank robberies. He knows typically when you smash something glass, an alarm is probably going to go off. God and, forbid uh, women do anything. Right. And he, but he is impressed that Vasily has caught this guy and he's going to go over to Mr. Fishface here and kind of lean in. He's going to go, alarms, security, give the lowdown now. He says of his fish. Oh lips. yes, I forgot about that, and uh, he will undo the lips. Uh, we, we don't have an automatic one because the, the, the wounds usually smash stuff up anyway. It'd be a waste of time. It's it's manual. I was running for. I'm sorry. Come on, I'm just a little guy. What about security? What do you got down here? There's a team on standby, but uh, they only come down if the alarms pulled. They're, they 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 have an elevator straight down here. Uh, come down. How many floors is it? Uh, they're, they're on the fifth floor, it comes, but it's an express elevator. It gets down in like, I, I was going to snap my fingers, but I don't have fingers anymore. Wait a minute. Uh, like, like a second. Time out. Five floors, five time out. out. Time out. If there was an express security elevator, why the fuck did Rivers and I not go through that? <laughs> they're, not well, like, they're not normal security. They're not the kind of guys you'd hang out with. Uh, also, I'm, ass I'm assuming that the wound treatment center is its own building in of itself inside the building. Yeah. Like it's inaccessible, out, like outside of the way we just entered. So, so it's like its, its own fifth the floor. fifth floor of the wound development building is like fifth, fifth floor down. We do things upside down oh, here, here, a little sick and bad. twisted, you know. It's a, what that fucking many? Spider Verse meeting. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that is, but yeah, it's like that. Miguel O'Hara comes me. out. It's a canon event. All right, sorry, Liver, Liver, answer me. How many floors already? I've been asking you five times now. I'm sorry, it's five floors. And we're on the first? Yeah, this, well, this is on the first and the main floor. This is where we do all the actual work. Those dickheads down on floor two, all they do is admin, and they got no fucking right to tell me what to do, okay? You're right, they don't. And exactly. I looked at the team. So, what's the game plan here? Bring out K? Uh, speaking of, I think Chelsea... Oh, hold on, you can't help. bring that out. That's a valuable research sample. Chelsea's oh, driver's your mouth. help is, like, hopefully okay. undone her harness and shackles by now, and then she's just like, are you okay? Oh, fine, thanks. She sort of massages the wrists where they were previously bound. So this is the, uh, the wound facility, right? Yeah, now yeah. you see why I was worried about you being the prisoner, dum-dum? Why? What do you mean? You are just... Did they... Are you not hurt or anything? I'm fine. Bats is gonna smirk. So, this was your plan the whole time, huh? Absolutely. There's no better way to find out uh, where this kind of place is than go in there yourself, right? So what the fuck were they doing to you then? If they didn't hurt you or interrogate you, why were you in a glass cage? Oh, they were just doing um, checks and tests. Uh, probably some, some pleasantness was on its way, but I think I would have gone out by then. Okay. Bats is also going to tap Driver on the shoulder here and motion for him to film this place, record it, so he could have something to show Neil. Oh yeah, we can blackmail. Well, that, but also maybe we can use that to blackmail Escalante into giving us. Right, right. Money. We have some collateral here that this yeah. this is underneath this um, media I'm, company. I uh, wink at Bats, uh, and as I do, uh, he notices that one of my eyes has already become a camera. Nice. Nice. I um. Okay, listen, I'm glad you're okay. We're obviously gonna get you out of here and figure out what's going on, but there's something I wanna ask you while, you know, we Absolutely. got you here. I, uh, when I was in their innovation lab, I, I saw there was a list 
for people contained here. And every, every single person, it was like, human, stand user, human, wounded, so on and so forth. But you, it just it just said stand user. What What's going on with that? Right. Well, um, if I thought it was a personal matter, would you, uh, I don't suppose you'd relent at all. I mean, there are more pressing things at stake, but I want to know eventually. I, I think I have to know. Right. That makes well, two of us. Okay. Well, as I'm sure you guessed, I'm not 100% human. I was originally. Um, I believe you encountered the Leviathan back at Pitch Black, is that right? Yeah. yeah. Did it mention anything about a place called Lemuria? No way! I just put it together! Oh, fuck you! Oh, fuck you! There's no way that K is Catherine! No way! It's a very a long, special K. A long time ago, I uh, went oh. to Lemuria myself, to that, that other world. And I stayed there for a while, and it, uh, I was changed by it. When I came back, I found that uh, I couldn't die. So I've been there, sticking around for quite a while now, um, making a living for myself. You, you, you can't die? What, 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 what do you mean? You, do, you just don't age? Uh, that, and um, it's very difficult to inflict damage on me. I can be knocked out, of course, but actually if I have an injury, it doesn't really take so much. But if if you do get an injury, do you just do you regenerate from it? Um, yes, I do. I can see why this any gestures brought that room. Was it any trouble, Fed? This was basically a vacation or a hotel room. You're absolutely right. So, oh, I'm out of character right now. Seems this like is a, a... Oh, like a one star room. Yeah, so I wouldn't give it a pleasant review in the magazine. I'll tell you that. I'm I'm sorry to be out of character right now. So she's like 300 years old. I mean, it depends on how long she spent in Lemuria, right? Time passes differently there. So let me let me fill the audience in because they don't have this recorded. Uh, in part two of our JoJo campaign, it took place in like the year 1700, uh, and uh, it was like we were sailing on the high seas. We we're trying to find this mystical continent in Lemuria. And uh, Catherine was the character of one of the players who ended up uh, leaving pretty early on. So we played it off as her, like Stan made her sick and she fell into a coma. We had to take her to Lemuria. And then she like fucked off at the, at the epilogue to go do her own things. But like thanked us and was like, hope to see you again sometime. I did not think she would still be alive in, what is it, 1974? Yeah. Jesus. Wow. Tan, you got me with that twist. That was good. Wow! This wasn't, I wonder, this wasn't originally intended as a twist because she she said her name when she first showed up. She but... did? I thought she, she just said K. I know oh, yeah. she said Catherine, but I don't think she said her surname. Okay, well, yeah, but even so. No worries. Anyway, I'm okay, glad you well, it. You impressed me, sorry. I guess I just soyed too hard at that. I, I did become a twist when, when no one said anything. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm like in disbelief. What a fucking callback from like, God, what has it been in real life? Like two years? Yeah. God damn. All right. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm back in character. Let's do this. <clears throat> anyway, she looks around. This is a horrible place. Is that screaming? Uh, it is it? screaming. The screaming coming from all these like glass boxes. I don't think who any of these people, whoever they are, should have to put up with this. I mean, I know it's not exactly K integral to our mission, but I think we should free these people. And Absolutely. also, from my perspective, if these are wounds we're talking about, and of course, this group is affiliated with the Better Angels, who knows what's being used for the wound weapon? It might not be in our best interest to keep them here, but if we have to dispose of them, or free them, then it could work out. Yeah, let's start breaking open glass cages, boys. However, uh, I don't my know if special it's a good idea. idea and he has, as he does the callback to uh, the underwater prison. I, I want to point out to release all these wound users out into the open. I want to point out it will be incredibly difficult for us to transport them 
until we clear this entire building of hostels. Mm -hmm. Um, but we also cannot leave them here. So oh. while I hate to say it, uh, and I sort of like, uh, project like a gun into my hands and I like pull back the hammer. There's only really one solution I can think of. The look on Chelsea's face, I think, drops for a moment. As she remembers, right, that's that's what good trouble is. That's what she is. She's someone that kills people. She's someone that gets the mission done. And she takes out her own uh, gun and loads it. And she goes, I think you might be right. A uh, quick OOC question, but I forget. Can people control their wound abilities at all? Is it It depends. It varies. Ever? It varies. Right. Like, like the one that the most control was the uh, the the the, uh, the colonel that you fought. The, the werewolf on. guy, yeah. And he lost control at the end of the fight as well on a rampage. Chelsea has never controlled hers consciously either until that dark determination moment, and that was like I don't even know if that counts because she was in like weirdo mode. I mean, I think, and this is back in character. Vizsla goes, "Well, hold on, hold on. We don't need to play judge, jury, and executioner here." We, we're here to take down this organization, right? What better way to do so than just let all the prisoners loose? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's that a would idea. be an awful idea to... Because it would endanger the lives of all the well, innocent people that happen to be here. Well, maybe, maybe we don't have to do either. I, can't bats just turn them all into balls when we break them out and then we can stuff them in a bag or something? That, that is a possibility, though the prospects of turning so many individuals into balls is going to put a strain on my uh, stand power. How many? How many are there, Tan? They're uh, also it, wound like users, and on this floor. there's all they're also wound users, and I want to point out that it's been kind of fifty-fifty with turning stand users into balls, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Look, I I, I, I don't know. I I'm know not against. But you guys would have to cover for me because I'm going to be open. I know the easy thing would be to kill them here. I know it's probably what we should do. But the easy thing is not always the thing worth doing. And I also don't like the idea that there are lives we could have saved, but we, you know, just took because it made our lives a little bit simpler. I feel like we should at least try. And then if we have to, we can kill them. I mean, Chelsea, I've seen these lie. wound... Chelsea, I've seen these wound users before. No one should live like this. We've all if anything, I'm agreeing with you on the on the prospects that they might provide valuable research for the wound weapon. Figuring out what it's being used for, how it works. Maybe there's components within them. I think we should bring them back to base just for that reason. Not for any moral high ground. I think she goes quiet at like, no one should live like this. Because she's probably starting to suspect that she's a wound user uh, after what happened with Vasily. And I, I don't think she says anything else. Oh, Vasily has definitely not made the two and two connection. Yeah, it's neither even was there. His only exposure to wounds has been um, the one that we fought in the Winter's Boss, who was, you know, completely out of his mind. Oh, for sure. No, no. But I think she's starting to put it together herself, but she's not going to tell them after hearing right. that, I think. Like, so I'll turn them into balls, but again, it's going to be on all of you to get me out of here. Have we ever failed to get you out of a situation? Is that really what we're doing, though? We're just taking... We're going to let them no. be our lab rats instead? Now, hold on, you people, says the scientist fish. Uh, if you wanted to rob this place, then you should just go for the documents. If you if you take the subjects, there's no way you'll get out of here. I'm going to um, put my boot uh, on his head. And I'm where did you say it. those documents were again? In, in, in the desk, we got files on the progress, on, on the wounds. <laughs> Hold on, you can't kill me, you can't I kill Lofton. I put my boot on his head and I start to press down. I don't go all the way, but I say, tell it's, me. As he, after he tells me like where the documents are, um, I say, all right, thanks, bats, you gather oh, up oh, them. Oh. 
I, 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 I got the range of right. the subjects. I, I put the boot on his head, and I don't press all the way down. I start to, and I say, tell me what to say one more time. Tell me what to do one more time. Hold on, hold on. I, 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 I can tell you what the, these better angel guys are after. <laughs> I, <laughs> I pick him up off the ground, and I hold him in my hands. Go ahead, speak. Well, what, what, this may look like some sort of... Uh, crazy like science lab to you but it's more like more like weather forecasters if you know what i mean do, do you know what uh you, you know like human psychics right that sort of thing esp and the like yeah you know that stuff I've heard of it go ahead i love yeah, that a lot of crap well there's a theory right that's all humans are, are, are connected like a little bit that's how all like, psychic powers work maybe it's how like stands works and and we we've, we've been tracking that we've been tracking the the, the 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 connections between people, um, how many people are connected at once, how many in groups they're connected in, and it's been getting bigger over the last fifty years. That's when the the, the, the wounds have started appearing. You know, um, uh, the 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 angels they wanted they, they came to us to clarify that they wanted one bit of information. They wanted to know oh, a date and a time when everyone would be connected before things were because ebbs and flowed before. Things started to become disconnected again, and we got it for them. We got it for them, <laughs> but the boss, he, he's trying to get a better price out of them, you know. So <laughs> we're playing hardball, but uh, we have it. I, we have it. I could tell you where it is. So what, uh, what just, do they have? We, we know what everyone's going to be connected. That's what the better angels wanted. I don't know what the book they wanted, but that, that's what they wanted from us, you know. What do you know about a wound weapon? I don't know. That's the first I've ever heard of it, buddy. What? When is everyone going to be connected? It's on the microfilm in the desk, but uh, I can tell you, I can tell because I know I mean, I'm useful, you know. Then, tell, you me, then tell me right now. <laughs> 19 minutes past 9 p.m. July uh, 21st, 1977. Minutes past 9 p.m. July 21st, 1977. For a few minutes, everyone's going to have a little bit of a, uh, a telepathic episode. I don't, they probably won't even realize it, but they're going to be connected. It's going to be like a peace and love, you know? <laughs> Mats is going to cross his arms. Sounds far-fetched, he says, staring at the fish-faced doctor. That's what I thought. I, I, I thought I was going to be researching uh, monkey brains, but, you know, <laughs> different kinds of monkeys, right? I got the one more question. slaps him. Oh. Say that one more time. I don't want to. I got one more question. You got all these wound users in here, but there's definitely a way to get them out, too. You got any sort of button that Opens up all these cages at once. Well, I, I do, but I, I want to correct you because I don't think you're quite appreciating the genius of the uh, researcher. We don't have any any wound users in this room. Excuse me. I saw well, there were see wounded it. users on your list, though. Where are they? Well, they're down below. They uh, they they're, they're, they're useful for limited research, and then we uh, dispose of them. You know. So who are these um, but... people then? Then you read the sign outside. It's a, not a wound research center. It's a wound development center. Jesus. So, what's going on in those cages? Well, They're it's, traumatizing uh, them, I assume. Fascinating process, you know. People, the, the different people would respond to different things. You gotta find the little uh, trigger points, you know? And, like, he seems to be forgetting, like, the situation is in. He seems, like, genuinely sort of interested, exhilarated. Listen, by what he's about. science man. Bat what's Bats, is, Bats is going to stare Chelsea in the face, realizing, you know, that the parameters of this mission have change completely at least with the people on this floor listen science man what's your name lufton clupton you said lufton 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 you're a man of science i'm sure you're aware of Absolutely. how delicate an ecosystem is um, yeah. how everything works together uh, on the food chain you know predators eat prey you know prey they eat grass kelp whatever who fucking cares and it's all really delicate. So when you have an invasive species that enters, it's not supposed to be there. It throws things awry. It causes problems. And do you know what happens Hold when on. you're fishing and you catch an invasive species? Hold on now. <laughs> you're supposed to do this! And I smash his fucking head against the wall. It splatters. Piece of shit. He's mega dead. Uh, you know, something just occurred to me, Chelsea. Mm hmm Where did the blood you gave us come from? I don't know, and I don't want to think about it, but we gotta get these people out. They're civilians. 
Bats is going to turn to Kay looking for her take on whatever just happened there. Well, uh, I wish it had kept me alive. It would have been useful for interrogation, but I suppose if these people aren't wound users, it makes our job a little bit easier, right? Yeah, hopefully. Shouldn't be too much of a strain to put normal civilians in the balls, is it? Or is it like the same because it's just still people? Yeah, it, it'll, it'll still be the, like it'll be less intensive because they're not stand users. But these guys, I'm focused on getting out of here. Oh, for sure. Same. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get everybody Bats out of here, and then are we the going down to get the wounded as well, or what's our plan? He said there was a security team on standby, so maybe we should try and take Bats the stealthy? Bats is going to look at the slurry and uh, look back at Chelsea and go, you know, I wish you didn't do that. He still didn't tell us how to open all the glass cases. Sorry, I just... I mean, surely there's nothing my stand can't handle, right? Right, but it's going to be loud. I mean, we can also just play with a couple buttons. I mean, I'm I mean, sure they're labeled. Uh, I mean, they can't be that. Are there buttons? I, I there are buttons, but they are not labeled. They're not labeled. I glare at Chelsea after she says that. It looks like they she jinxed labels, us. But they've tapped so many times that the labels have worn away. I'm going to look to Driver and kind of nod for him to go get those documents and... Uh, I'm going to stay back and turn things into balls with whoever wants to smash the cages, and somebody should probably accompany Driver. Yeah. I go and get the document, and I, like, start thumbing through them. I think right. Regent now will accompany Driver. It's been a while since they teamed up. So as the two of you are leafing from these documents, a lot of it is jargon of a science you two do not have much training in, of like parapsychology, that sort of thing. So a lot of these facts and figures mean very little to you on a first glance. Um, there are vague sort of graphs indicating, like corroborating sort of the basics of what you said, of like a field slowly like growing more prominent throughout the earth, basically. Um, and then right at the bottom of this, this desk drawer, you see that microfilm you mentioned, or like right in the corner so you almost miss it at first and this apparently contains the information on the date and everything on the uh, specifics of this this is basically the research made small um i pick up the mi microfilm uh and i want to plug it into proto men to keep it safe absolutely okay and uh you have it then you you yeah <laughs> you've <patched hands> <laughs> Uh, and as, um, uh, can I start, uh, since it's plugged into Proto Man, can I start watching it in, in my head, Tan? Or, like, project it into a wall? Uh, you absolutely can, yeah. Yeah, sure. So it's sort of a representation of the Earth maps here. You can see facts and figures sort of scrolling by, adjusting over the years. It sort of goes from year to year to year, and you can see this, like, red field, like, originally sort of just tiny dots all over the globe, and then slowly growing bigger and bigger and bigger as more people uh, sort of become connected to this field. And then 1977, the entire Earth is just shown red. And then we go to 1978, and the field is dissipating, 1979 again. And slowly we return to the state of the, the, just the countless red dots there. So it's very uh, much a momentary thing where this is going to happen, it seems. My god, it's just self-consciousness. So it happens again in 1979? No, it, 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 so after 1977, it, stopped, it sort of begins disappearing basically that field oh, okay. and going back to where it was previously sort of ebbing and flowing basically they really do mm. want to change the shape of this world by changing presumably the way everyone thinks or functions that's scary i hate to say this this is the plot of star girl i don't see star girl so i can tell you <laughs> I, I i i don't know about series either it doesn't matter it's okay it feels original to me tan <laughs> Well, I'm is original. I've never seen that. Accusing him of unoriginality. I know. I know. Uh, and plagiarized Stargirl. Stargirl confirmed. My favorite series, Stargirl. I think pressing random buttons is just begging Tan to be like, you fucking murder them all with the poison filter. So I'm just going right. to smash yeah. open cages. But start pressing random buttons, please. So I'm just going to start smashing cages <laughs> open, as I have previously. Okay. These are much more less reinforced. Um, and you, you smash them open easily, basically, revealing sort of exhausted-looking people in various sort of uh, uncomfortable positions. Some of them basically in torture devices, I would say. 
who hurriedly sort of like pulled himself out of the streets the moment there was a bit of slack given to them and collapsed the ground, sort of heaving, exhausted, traumatized. Easy, 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 easy. We're gonna have not even seeing you. We're gonna Tan, what are what are some examples of specific scenes we see inside these cubes? Uh, well, I'm glad you asked that. <laughs> One person's forced to scroll Twitter 24 hours a day. <laughs> One person's getting the old uh, water drop treatment here. One of these people is forced to run the account that checks hidden replies. One of them One has a headset and they're forced to listen to death grips um, all day. With headphones and just like rat sounds just constantly in their ears. Uh, One person is uh, basically being dumped in and out of water upside down. It's, like it's the bird. Like... Yeah, like the bird. <laughs> it's, it's awful, but okay. <laughs> I understand what he's talking about, but it's so much funnier that he fucked it up. <laughs> I didn't fuck you, what do you mean? I, I was talking about Dune. <laughs> yeah, it's like that. I, I originally invented it upside down, but it's like that now. <laughs> And you manage to uh, collect this pile of people, all of which seem to be very much out of it. It seems they've been here for a while. Yeah, as, as Bats is witnessing this horror, and he, he begins to turn some of them into balls. Whenever he frees uh, a prisoner here, he'll turn them into balls and slip them into his coat pocket. And he, you can sense, Chelsea, that there is uh, uneasiness between the two of you because you're do both doing this completely silently. By the way, as you're getting like the opportunity to rest here, I will give you all one HP back. <laughs> one hit back. Oh, thank you. Ah, uh, yes. Angel person. As I get that one health point back, all of the blood that's on me just disappears. <laughs> when it tracks back into your body. <laughs> Imagine that when you heal, like, your wound just goes and sucks up all the blood again. <laughs> it's like healing in a video game when the <laughs> wound marks just like disappear. You found a cheeseburger and just ate it. Ow. Uh, oh like... man, that scientist guy had a packed lunch over here, guys. We, we smash open the glass cages and one of them drops like a wall chicken from fucking Castlevania. <laughs> it's like, fucking okay, Malagas, so you smash one open, Hideo Kojima's in there, like, is his cameo? <laughs> Mr. Kojima, uh, and we stra strap a Fulton to him. Yeah, he's like, he enjoyed good trouble now. <laughs> After a few minutes, Bats is gonna gesture um, towards the smashed head of the scientist man on the floor and he's going to turn back to chelsea and speak his first words in about 10 minutes you're going to clean up your mess no just leave it there huh nah fuck him what do you want bats all right look i get it we're at odds right now but fuck it's just a fucking shithead piece of shit scientist blood stained on a wall covered in fucking glass and shit all right, you want me to get a mop out and clean it? Is that what you want me to say? Fuck off. We're on a mission right now. You're right. It's about the fourth time you killed somebody without warning. You know, back in the mob, nobody went to war, okay? It was something you avoided. Politics, state, local, we controlled it all. It didn't matter. And for a while, I thought that's how it was all across the globe, all right? I didn't give a shit. But when I got out here, and I started seeing, you know, this Cold War garbage, nuclear weapons, dick measuring between two countries, no end in sight. I saw just how serious this was. With the press of a button, everybody could be destroyed. And this, none of this would matter. So it does matter to me that we handle this right. You think it doesn't matter to me either that I'm not taking this seriously? Look, we've all got issues, okay? Because if I recall correctly, we had to clean you up out of your fucking mess with the goddamn mob. So, and did we bitch about it? Did we give you shit? No, we saved you because we cared about you. I fucking fought for Neil to give us resources to get you, but no. When I have a problem, it's my shit, and I'm the only one slowing the team down? Fuck off, Bats. I never asked for you to save me, and if I remember correctly, that mission didn't result in any deaths. You, you don't think we didn't kill people when we turned into a giant fucking kaiju? You did what? That's, That's different. Great. They weren't targets that we could bring back for information. He's directly connected to what we're researching here. I'm done talking to you, all right? 
I'm done. Fine. Ask Kay how she feels about it. Look, I got no problem with killing. In fact, I'd go so far as to say that I like it. Currently, I. Well, sorry, what was Kay saying? Be... No, no, go on. Go on. Well, I was saying, I've got no problem with killing. I'd go so far as to say I like it. But in a situation like this, you let your anger get the best of you. Hello? I, I was okay. at the end. I thought it cut off. I thought we cut off too. I, did you hear yeah, me? Wait, I, I just heard you let it get the best of you. I thought it was going to oh, go. No, no, no. I, fo I, fo I followed it up with... Um, um, I, I said something about it being a uh, decision by committee when we're dealing with uh, targets that aren't just, you know. No, but, oh, that part definitely was cut off. I didn't hear. Yeah, it I didn't hear any of it. Sorry. Yeah, yeah okay. that wasn't me. Yeah, you, you got you get you get the you get the gist of it. She's going to take a deep breath. <sighs> gonna reach for a couple more pills. Toss those back. Okay. Understood. No more killing without your permission. Oh, come on. You know that's not what I mean. I'm just saying, Chelsea. I mean, this is serious, what we're doing here. I know it's serious. You think I don't care? Okay? We're making a difference here. We're doing what's right. We're trying to help people. That's why we want to rescue them. You know, it's not like I don't have any meat in this, all right? I get it. I messed up. I'm sorry, okay? I get, I let my anger get the best of me, and I killed him because he did horrible, unspeakable things, and I'm a human being. But you are right. I should have kept him alive. I will try to, you know, put things up to a committee like you said, okay? It happened in a moment. But, I mean, fuck, that doesn't mean I'm not qualified to do this. We're all fuck-ups, all right? No one in good trouble's normal. I think Fazili sneezes. I love you, Stigma. <laughs> I... <laughs> Is Vasily saying anything, or did you just was that just? I don't know. You did, yeah, no, no, like, no. You were just the odd man while he's he recording from us, Jesus, <laughs> as Chelsea says that. You you don't you don't get on Vasily's you know ass when he fucking sets off the alarms at pitch black. You know, no one got on your ass when we had to go rescue you from your bullshit. Driver, and I look at Driver and I say, you're perfect, stay the way you are, King. Okay? Like, yeah, I messed up. I'll learn from it, I'm sorry, but like, can you stop pretending that I'm the only one with issues here? Because it feels really fucking exhausting. For the record, Chelsea, I was the one who tipped off Neil about Vasily's fuck up at Pitch Black. You know, Ever since we've been put on a team, I've been trying to take this a lot more seriously. And I know where I come from. You probably don't think I am, but look, like I said, it's what I've seen out here. This needs to be handled carefully. And quite frankly, when there's multiple fuck ups of, of a scale like this on a mission from anybody, it just doesn't sit right. Anyways, we'll talk about it when we get to base. We have innocent people we have to save. Yeah, we do. Right, right, says Kay, sort of stepping forward. Now that we've got all that aired out, perhaps it's time to think about exfiltration. We've got what we came for, after all, and I don't think anyone's cover is intact after what's happened today. So we don't <laughs> Was it ever? Volante anymore? Well, we've got what we wanted from him. I suppose it's time to leave the island. I've got a boat besides, stashed away. The... Besides, with those photos driver snapped, I don't think this media conglomerate is going to last much longer. Slugger, we'll find a way to leak those, yes. Slugger, do you think you can put one more person in a wall? Who do you got? Well, if we need information, and if we want someone who might, I think, be sympathetic to our cause, Rivers is still unconscious in the tunnel. I mean, he should know a good bit about what's going on here. Oh, that's going to be one gigantic ball. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter oh, how big the person want... is, right? They still become the same size ball. Is it like standard? Sphere that guy. Let's that guy. Oh, so you want me to bring your boy back to base, huh? Yeah, he's and got Bath's information, gonna... and I honestly think he could be sympathetic to our cause. He's got a really powerful stand, 
and at this I point, have with him. in, in this the point, middle of, of Chelsea's like flustered explanation, Bats is going to shoot her a grin, indicating that he's just kidding there. Oh, oh, okay, what's going on here? <laughs> Driver was about to intervene and be like, I, I do actually think she's right. <laughs> Wait, I, also, <laughs> I also don't think she's flustered, <laughs> but yeah, okay, cool. I see what you did. There. I'm just baiting you. Baiting. <laughs> yeah, you're a real master baiter <laughs> over <it's>, there. <laughs> the fucking Darnell teasing has become like meta. I know. This is yeah, crazy. yeah, that's what I was doing. <laughs> I, I think okay, yeah, no, that, we have that, to bring going to run out and put Rivers in a uh, a ball, which is considerably bigger than the rest of the the balls. Yeah. I I driver like claps his hands. I knew it. It's like one of those, um, uh, God, th those big bouncy balls you could buy at Walmart. Do you know which ones I'm talking about? I don't know if they still sell them. I know what you're talking about. Like, the, you buy them and they're like in a cage yeah, in Walmart. Yeah, yeah they're in a, yeah, they're in a cage. Yeah, they're in a cage. There's always like kids That's throwing cool. them around. Yeah. Yes. Bats is going to look at this and he's going to be like perplexed. I, I didn't even know my stand could do this. I have genuinely never seen this before. <laughs> he's super sized. <laughs> he's good. Uh, where do we put this thing? Rivers at McDonald's, like, supersize me. Oh, man. Doesn't Driver, Rivers have a family? He has a family of seven children that he live off the no, island. No, the seven children are, like, uh, are of the that guy that are, like, dead. Does, does oh, yeah. Rivers have a family, or is he, like, solo? I think he has, like, multiple wives or something. Yeah, he has two wives. I, I thought he said... Damn. I thought he said that his kids were alive and they just lived off the island. Oh, no, yeah. that was a dead guy. Yeah, he, he he was telling me about the guy that I got killed because I told him to turn the experiment up. He had oh, seven okay, kids okay. off island. <laughs> I thought that and was. Just, I thought that was. He rumors, just said he has multiple bitches. I, can I just say it I'm still blown much. away by the fucking Catherine reveal that it's Catherine from Platinum Standard. That is insane. I don't even remember what her stand fucking did. It was something about ghosts. Yeah, it was like a spirit. But yeah, there were, there were multiple say, drafts of it. I forget which one he went with. In yeah. The I remember it also had a power not dissimilar to Public Enemy where it made everyone want to hate her. Oh, it was, wasn't it like an act stand now that I think about it? Yes, it was. Yeah, it was an act stand, but it also like regressed and made everybody hate her as well and want to kill her like <laughs> she was a witch. So yes, Bats has like tons of balls just overflowing from his coat pocket like he has the big rivers ball in his hand and he, he was really like uh um incapacitated here if he's going to do anything mobile so he's going to turn to driver um do you think you could shuttle me out of here yeah no problem okay well, what do you oh my god shut up stigma <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what they're calling me these days <laughs> I'll leave that up to Tan if they relate, but I feel like if they were, Kay would have brought it up. Uh, sorry, what did you say? Yeah. Uh, no, I was just, Tan. How is Kay planning on getting us out of here? He's because I feel like... I've managed to get a boat station at the southern coast where no one comes. We'll uh, use that to get to a uh, a larger boat wing for us with the speed rocket foundation from there. And the uh, sergeant should be able to take us out. Sounds good. Drive. Got a question for you. That bike yeah. of yours. Got anything under the seat? What do you mean? Can it, like, is there, like, a storage compartment underneath the seat, like there are in some motorcycles? Uh, sure. I'm going to put all of the, like, wound user balls in there. All right. And. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going well with the exception of the rivers ball which is massive and then I'm going to hop on the back uh, with the rivers ball and uh, with my one arm free I'll be able to p possibly use the clash if anything stops us on the way out I've been sending some of my dance with the dead wisps up above while I've been talking it seems like the building's going to lock down I'm not sure what's going on but it seems they know something's wrong probably because rivers never came back it may have been a little bit tense exit do I, with my knowledge of the layout of the building, what would be the easiest exit? Well, from your position in the getting out of here from the basement and then getting to the lobby is fairly simple. Like I said, the front door, ironically enough, would probably be the best way out. Right. Okay. Driver, front door. How's it sound? No problem. All right. Good uh, luck. I'm going to say to Vasily and Chelsea. 
We'll leave the rest of this here to you guys. So oh, they're, yeah, they're going off the ahead. Recap, you guys are splitting up right for the time being. They're going off yeah. with Kay to get the boat, and we're hanging back till the boat arrives, right? Yes, we are going back to the boat. I don't know if Kay's coming with us. Gotcha. Oh, so, just just be careful. We don't know how long until uh, the boss, not our, not Neil, but you know who I mean. Escalante. You know, it's his yeah. And you are hey, gone. Well, sympathetically. Yeah, we get it, buddy. <laughs> you guys will be good. Rest easy. Uh, wh Where's Kay going again? Is she with us or? I'm going with you guys. Okay. Can she, case, like, know what the is? <laughs> so that's probably a good idea. Can she, like, transform herself into, like, wisp form? Because they're... There are already two people on this bike. And she cannot transform herself now. <laughs> so where I is she? Is she just gonna... Of K in the storage department. <laughs> cling onto my back? Uh, yeah, sure. no. Um, I project, like, a little sidecar, like a replica oh, of the sidecar that, uh, Chelsea made. <laughs> I forgot about that. Okay, and with that, um, you have anything else you want to do here? You're just speeding off for the time being? No, no, no. Yeah. I think we're all good here. So they yeah. leave just me and Vasily alone, right? Yeah. Yes. I think when they're gone, Chelsea probably starts to cry just a little bit. Not like a bawling cry, but she tears up a little. I think just Vasily's not going to try and stop it. You know, sometimes, you know. It's well, it's for us. Out sometimes you just have to let it out, so he's just doing like the reassuring pat on, like the back thing. Regent, you know that I know this is important, right? Yeah, you're. I I know what's at stake for you here. I'm gonna give my boy a hug and then pull myself together and get ready for this tower defense we're about to experience. So to recap, um, driver and uh, bats. Have you taken the documents with you when you've left as well, or are they staying? Yeah, in the we took. Okay. Yeah, I took the documents. Yeah. yeah. Driver has all that loaded onto him, anyways. Okay, <laughs> there's a fucking packed motorbike. <laughs> Okay. I have, we're, we're I have to project like a fucking trailer to like tie to the bike. <laughs> it's a cargo bike. Okay, <laughs> so your your joyride begins as you zoom through the fucking um, you zoom through the uh, the tunnels here, much shorter than they were on the way in. Now that Martha's been taken care of, it takes you like a few seconds to get through. Basically, you do a crazy maneuver up the stairs uh, up here, zooming past uh, Scruff, and he shakes his fist. You're not allowed to ride motorbikes inside anymore. Uh, as uh, as we ride by Scruffson, can I project like a fist that punches him in the face? You could. Yeah, that's just what I want to do. You do it. You, the old man falls down to the ground, injured. Driver, what the hell? Hey, that was Scruffson, says Kenny, who's never met Scruffson. <laughs> yeah, he was Martyr's user. <laughs> what are you, you doing, sure about man? that? That's cool. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw his face down there. And uh, as you're discussing this, you have been going up the stairwell somehow in your motorbike. As you yeah. burst out into the lobby. It's like nighttime now, by the way. It's pitch black outside. Uh, well, it's not quite pitch black late, but it's getting very dark here. And the employees have sort of cleared out for the time being, presumably because it's locked down as well. The front doors do seem to be sealed, but as you're driving towards them, uh, driver, as your name suggests, uh, Kay sort of uh, sits up in the uh, in the uh, seats and says, "Dance with the Dead, Act Two. As she does that, a, a vaguely sort of feminine armless figure with a long purple cloak and a massive witch hat appears behind her. It's got like tendrils, like ribbon-like tendrils coming out of its collar here. And as it points one of those tendrils towards the glass door that's locked, some black stakes just appear out of thin air, already sort of impaling glass. And making it exceedingly easy when you smash into it, just shatter through it basically and keep going out onto the beach. Alright. And you are free um, in, in the night. <laughs> a lot easier than I expected, but alright. You're right. I'm surprised the curious isn't coming after us. That man was ranting about it before he was turned into a fish, right? He was either full of shit or they're preparing the biggest ambush of all time. Right, well. We'll get to Southern Coast anyway. From there, uh, it's just a matter of 
making the return trip to get the rest of them, I suppose. Because the, the boat's not going anywhere outside, outside the water. Alright. And with that, you zoom off into the jungle to the southern coast of this island. Wait, if we wait, zoom is, in... our, is our plan here to take the boat back to get... I'm, I'm a little bit confused, I have to admit, about what we're going to do once we get to the boat. We could... Well, we... What about I, you guys? I, I... It's probably it's probably a good idea to send off uh, Jack with the sensitive information on the boat and have another boat come around to pick us up while we you know make sure that the rest of the team gets out. Unless we just want to leave Vasily and Chelsea here and hope that they could fend for themselves. Hey, you guys have a bus pass, right? <laughs> I can't hear you. <laughs> I said, well, it is true. Vasily's oh. cover hasn't actually been blown yet, right? And and I don't think Chelsea's has either. Technically, I mean, she'll have to explain where the hell where, where the hell Rivers is. I mean, she could be honest and just say we kidnapped him. Oh, true. We did kind of beat the shit out of her. <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, my intention was when we left, I, I was thinking that they're strong enough to, like, fend for themselves, but the success of the mission really does depend on us getting the wound users and the um, uh, the documents back to headquarters. And besides, we are going to probably have to come back anyways, because there's a whole floor of uh, actual wound users that need to be dealt with. Yeah. <sighs> But yeah, it's important that we get the documents over to base and so they could be safe hands first. And if we get the stuff over to base, I mean, we can have Neil organize, like, fucking another team rescue to party. rescue them, yeah. Right, right, right. Although that would assume they don't do a cleanup operation between then and now. Right, um, okay. Of what? A cleanup of what? uh wiping out all of the test subjects uh then clearing well, out the building to remove all the right. evidence well i mean i i'm placing the trust in vasily and chelsea here in, in this instance but yeah i i think it's a good idea to come back guns blazing with like maybe three or four more like agents or even just one like anything's a possibility here don't say just one because then Tan's gonna send Masterson. Yeah, or or point or point Dexter. <laughs> no. Dude, is there anyone at good trouble that doesn't make me want to strangle them? Do we have There has to be somebody uh, other Dexter's feud of you is entirely your fault. <laughs> is it there, there this is true? You you just you just walked up to, him, up to him and like broke his glasses. Yeah. I no, I walked up to him and I asked him to leave and then he was annoying. Well you tried to race. And then and then I started a systemic <laughs> campaign to ruin his life. You told him to leave the fucking library where he was minding the rules and you two were flaunting them. <laughs> well, let's just say, I don't know. I have nothing to I say. Chelsea was like a mean girl in high I have school. nothing to say other than I love playing characters with flaws and I will not stop. I'm. We're not telling you to, don't worry. I love, I love being evil. Does this that is what I imagine, I imagine, but yeah. <laughs> Front yeah. grind. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, this entire time I've been thinking of Poindexter as a Simpsons character, yeah. <laughs> um, so if we do switch over to you guys once more, Chelsea and Vasily, is there anything else you want to do sort of in the meantime while this is being done? So are we straight up just waiting or were we given a mission like while we're here? You're pretty much waiting. I... Well, I mean, I think you two were gonna clean out like the, the treatment facility there, like explore, like, you know. Just us two? There's, they have a whole dedicated security squad. I don't think they're stand users. I mean, they it's up to you. They don't have full HP. That is true. Okay. Yeah, it might be a better idea to just lay low. Or Vasily could slip back into cover, and technically yours isn't blown. Once uh, Chelsea's had her, like, 15 I, I second... Think, oh, sorry, go ahead. I think it would make sense for uh, Chelsea to maybe, you know... Well, she doesn't have to, like, look more injured than she already is, but maybe crawl back upstairs to report back. Uh, on like, uh, driver and slugger having like beaten her, and rivers and ha them having taken rivers. I can, uh, I, I can, rivers, I can do. One. It would make sense for a facility to like, maybe you know, be, you know, in her pocket or her jacket pocket, whatever, as like a rodent in case the CEO gets really angry and tries to punish her. That's a good idea, actually. I think we should go with that. I think when she has her like, 
15, 20 second cry, quick hug with Vasily, and pulls yourself together. I think. Do you, does he produce? Does he say that idea to her? Uh, I don't think he would do so in character. I think he would also be a bit mentally still. Okay. Uh, no. he, All right. Let's not let's... to railroad or like, but just a suggestion. Do you think it would make sense to have Vasily or have Chelsea take Vasily hostage here? Yeah, let's like, do it. I'll bring him back as like a. I caught one of them, but the rest got away. Right, right, because that would be more believable on her part. Like it's up to oh, you guys, obviously. Sure. I uh, okay. He will definitely be using a different face, though. Vasily, you still trust me, right? He recalls uh, what happened. Well, you're you're a much better actor than I gave you credit for. Yeah. Well. I did always, you know, before I got suspended, I really was excited about pretending to be a journalist and going on TV. It's always something I've thought about, but you know how it is. Life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. But um, while we've got the time, maybe we can take advantage of our situation here. Now what do you have in mind? We march back up to... Uh, Escalante's office. I've got you in hand. I tell them the others beat me up, they escaped, and they took rivers, but I managed to nab you. I see mm. what else we can pump him for, and then uh, you break out of the restraints, I'll tie the restraints in a way where you can just move your hands, and then we do what we need to with them. Uh, a quick reminder, OOC. Whatever happened to, like, the scientist guy basically turned into like a mermaid. I, I slammed his head against the wall. I killed oh, right, him. Right, right, right. So, and then driver, I mean, Slugger got really mad. Hmm. Well, looks like I got a fresh fit. I got a fresh fit. He's gonna, what, well, like try and oh. uh, change into this dead guy's clothes. Make it look like he really was. Oh my god, I thought you were gonna like devolve into like a fur coat or something. <laughs> Okay, I'm not. He's. I'm not that fucked up. I was horrified. I'm not that fucked up. I only robbed him of his human body. <laughs> oh, wait, hey, hey, I could have turned him back any time. I actually love the fish thing though. That was so cool. It also hey. let me do my dumb little speech. It was very cool. All right. And so. he's gonna also change his face for a random ancestor again. Okay, roll for. Uh... Roll for attractiveness. Roll for your uh, bamboozle. It's going to be a rolling one again. We're going to see how good of a face you get. Alright, bamboozle, that's menacing and wit. Yes, yes, yes. That's, yes. Uh, heads up, Tan. We will need to wrap one, up soon two, if we want to do Aether. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. So four. Uh, it's, it's astounding. It's a great face. It is like, it almost erases the memory from Chelsea of the bad face that she saw the first time, but not quite. Not enough. But it's almost there. I call this one Dwight Sylvester. Oh my god, you're actually handsome. It's kind of freaking me out. That, that's very hurtful, Chelsea. No, not that you're, you know, you, you, look, you look great normally, but I just mean like, like you look like a fucking movie star or something. It's kind of weirded me out a little bit. I'm picturing Troy McClure, to be honest, on the Simpsons' mind again. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm Troy McClure. <laughs> This is evil. Wow. Could you I'll imagine you, yes. if, like, some guy picks you up at a bar and has a one-night stand, and you know that, like, shitty misogynist meme about, oh, seeing a girl with his makeup off? It's that, but then you see Vasily's real face instead <laughs> when you wake up. Oh, my God. Okay, but you were going up to the uh, CEO's yes, office then with your CEO's hostage. Office. And so I, I tie some rope around him, and, I mean, she's been doing this for, like, six years. I assume she knows how to tie knots, so she does it in a way where you can just, like, move his hands and it'll come loose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but she pretends to tie him up. Uh, maybe even applies some makeup to look like he has more bruises than he does. Okay. G gives herself a little black eye. Uh, she's like, all right, let's do I'm this. Sure that, I mean, Chelsea's on like one HP still, isn't she? No, we're, we're both on he's... two. We're both on two out of three. Oh, right, right. We got a little I think it, it, it went from one to two and go from like zero to one. Yeah. Um. So I, so I take him up to the top floor. I don't care who in the building sees us. I just go to the top. The building is is weirdly empty as well as you're going through. You don't see a single person other than your unconscious scrofton that you're passing the tunnels. That is terrifying. And I'll head up to the fifth floor to Escalante's office. 
Okay, so as the elevator doors open, you can immediately hear Escalante shouting at someone. Um, you can't quite see from it, all the lights are off. Everyone, the only other officers are banned, you can just see the lights, like, from Escalante's office and hear him shouting. I, I, I don't know where they are, okay? Um, I, I, she'll be back any second, I swear. She, she, she's with us. She, I, I've investigated, I've made sure of it. R Rivers too, he'll, he'll be back soon. Wait. No, 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 no! Uh, and it suddenly cuts off. Oh, shit. I look to Vasily. Um, sh should we? Sh should should we get the fuck out of here? It'll, it'll take five seconds. Ask him what's going on. We need information. I, what's that? What's coming for I, us? I think he's dead. But if I just got if I just got into I, no, I we just heard him shouting up. from a distance when we came up, and he said, "No, please, they'll be back." Si and then he stopped talking. That. <laughs> But was like was there like a bang sound or it wasn't. some hum on hum on sound or you did not hear anything like that? Can you devolve us both into my no? Because then yeah, I don't know. Oh dear, I I think we should go. I think maybe this was a bad idea. I think something is here or someone is here, and Vasily's curiosity is too great. Like in the prison, he must see. What happened? I think she reaches a hand out and like she thinks about running for a second, but she can't. She can't leave her ride or die. She'll follow. Very scared. <laughs> he, he he's all, he is indeed though in rodent form as he tries to you know sneak in, just get a quick peek. Is is he alive? The room is empty. Are there clothes on like an empty chair or nothing? You can see his like desk chair like slowly stopping swinging. As though it was spinning a second ago. I think Vasily gets the memo and he's gonna very, you know, in a way as to not draw any attention in case there's something he doesn't know inside, try and scurry away back to the elevator. Hold on one second. Actually, never mind. Keep going. I'm gonna try and DMT in something. Okay, and as you retreat back to the elevator, we're going to switch back to our friends on the motorbike as they're approaching the southern coast. You're sort of speeding along the beach here. You're almost, uh, you're almost to the boat. You can you can sort of see it nestled between some uh, some trees off on the coast here. Uh, but suddenly, driver, as you are driving, you see a massive unnatural shadow fall across the patch you're about to go on. Almost like a it's like a pitch black shadow. Oh dear. Bats is gonna notice it. Don't tell me it's fucking Godzilla again. Okay, okay. So driver. I think it might be Godzilla again. Driver, will you continue driving onto the shadow or? Uh, into the shadow? Uh, absolutely not. Okay, <laughs> so you just you could stop, I assume. Driver, yeah, he I... was driving the Titanic. Oh hell no, I'm not hitting that. <laughs> <laughs> and as you skid to a halt, you see that shadow like encircling you guys, like in a big circle around you, like a border. Oh and dear! Out of it, a, a figure sort of emerges—a hulking figure of a man you don't recognize as first because he's just like silhouette. But as the shadow like retracts from him, you recognize the Hammond user, Darius Main, here as he climbs out and um, looks around the beach. A second later, a second figure emerges next and sort of staggering forward, much more frightened. And as he falls to his knees in front of you, you see Manuel Escalada sort of looking around in panic. He's wearing his business suit and everything, but on one hand, for some reason, he's wearing a bright orange glove, like a gardening glove. It, it, it does not fit with the rest of his uh, fit at all. <laughs> Wait, I told you guys, I told you, I, I, I can get it back, I can find out the, 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 the date, the time, anything. As, as he's talking, like, pleading with someone unseen, you can see, like, what his hand with the glove is slowly rising up, and before he can finish his sentence, it's like, slaps onto his face. And you've been told a couple of times that he has a skin condition, where anything can, like, scrape his skin away. And the hand just slowly drags itself down his face and peels it away. Oh. And it's a sight to behold. It's just like, for a second you can see like a skull, and then it's just covered in blood, and it's twitching this. Um, I, I raise an eyebrow and I look at the Hamon user and I say, was this supposed to scare us? 
he doesn't answer. He's just got his hands clasped in front of him, and he seems to be looking at something uh, behind you. He's looking at the going to look name. behind. There's another figure behind you guys walking out of the shadow. Um, and as that clears from him, it seems to be a young man in sort of a white poncho and brown sandals, sort of with a serene smile on his face, long brown hair, he's walking towards you guys. And he, uh, a couple of times when you've um, been told about the better angel, been told about this uh, the man who seems to be the leader, this Genesis, a man with sort of a black crown, and you get the feeling this might be him, but as he's walking towards you, you see that he's not necessarily wearing a black crown, but that he's got black horns coming out of his forehead, circling his head here. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> And he extends a hand towards and goes, I believe you have something that belongs to us. The microfilm, please. And then I'm afraid we do have to uh, to end the session. <laughs> yeah. oh, we... <laughs> we are so fucked. Why is Good Trouble so Kino all the time? It's, it is, there hasn't been a bad session. It's like, like I loved Havoc Moon, don't get me wrong, but I feel like Good Trouble in like half the amount of episodes has already blown it out of the water. Holy good fuck. Good Trouble Good Trouble I liked Havoc Moon too, obviously, but Good Trouble's better than Havoc Moon since episode one. Yeah. All right, I have to wrap this up just real quick, uh, just so I have time to talk to you guys after session and then get this thing done with Tan. But thank you all for oh, watching. No, I do have to apologize. I probably won't be able to do that thing. I've been told I have to be quiet now. Well, well, well. Look who put all this pressure on old... I'm kidding. I'm I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye! Oh, good. Oil is great.